गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सेलेक्शन शॉर्ट एज इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द बबल शॉर्ट एक्चुअली व्हाट इज शॉर्टिंग शॉर्टिंग इज अ टेक्निक टू अरेंज एलिमेंट्स ऑब्लिक आइटम्स इन पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर आइदर इन एसेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर हेर यू कैन सी दर इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर एंड डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर द नंबर्स आर इन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर कॉल्ड द एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर and where uh, the elements of the array are in decreasing order that is called descending order so suppose unordered array is given and we our task is to sort either in ascending or descending order so now i think sorting is very much clear the selection sort in previous lecture we have seen bubble sort bubble sort and selection sort are very much similar sorting algorithms but both in both of the algorithm the techniques are different in this uh, sorting technique first find the smallest element and then place it at the first position and repeat the process till whole array become sorted but in bubble sort we have seen we shift the largest item into the last so this is the basic difference compare bubble sort and selection sort in bubble sort number of comparisons are n minus 1 n minus 2 up to 1 means in first iteration the number of comparisons are n minus 1 in second iteration number of comparisons are n minus 2 in third iteration number of comparisons are n minus 3 and so on swap is also same as comparisons in worst case if the array given array is reverse sorted then we'll see the number of uh, swappings are also near about same as the comparisons but in selection sort number of comparisons are same as in selection sort in first iteration that is n minus 1 in second that is n minus 2 and up to 2 then 1 and the swap here we can see the swapping is fixed that is n minus 1 how we can say in every step only in every iteration only one swapping is required so total steps are n minus 1 so we can say easily the total number of swappings in selection sort is n minus 1 but in bubble sort that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1 the sum of this series so here the beauty of selection sort is this uses minimum number of swap as compared to any other comparison sort so this is the beauty of selection sort why we call it selection sort as in bubble sort we see uh, the element shifted to the end like a bubble but in selection sort as name suggest selection means to select something so in this sort first find the smallest element in the list and put it at the first position then find the second smallest element in the list and put it at the second position and so on so to do this several passes are required to sort whole array here i am taking one example an array is given element is 40 20 30 50 and 10 suppose i am taking some variables current minimum and j so now the current position suppose if we can take i x y z what whatever we want to take i am taking the variable name is current so current is at position 0 j is position uh, at position 1 and minimum is equal to uh, the index number 0 so the value at index 0 so we are supposing that uh, element is minimum now compare aj and a minimum when we compare aj aj means 20 and a minimum is 40 the 20 is less than 40 it means this condition is true then we have to shift this minimum to this first position now the minimum is element which is located at position index number 1 so we will increase this by 1 so now the minimum is shifted to the first position clear so we have just compared two elements and just set the variable minimum to the one and increment by one that variable j so now in second step now compare aj with a minimum and aj is now not less than 20 so it is in order so there is no need to 
change the variable minimum. So now again, increase j to 3. Here, a3, we can say aj is less than a minimum. No, it is greater than the minimum value, that is 20. No need to change the minimum. Now shift j to 4. Now aj is 4 and a4 is 10. Now a10 is less than a minimum that is 1. So 10 is less than 20. Yes. Now change the minimum to 1 to 4 because j is 4. So when we change the minimum, the minimum shifted to this position. Clear? Now again we see finally we find the smallest element in the first iteration or you can say first pass. Now finally we got the minimum value at position 4 then minimum is equal to j which is to be shifted at the position first. Now we have to shift it to the position first. So for shifting this element to position uh, first position or we can say at 0th position. So we have to swap. Now the swapping is required. In first iteration only one swapping is going to be happen into this iteration. So now swap it. After swapping 10 has come at position 0 and 40 has come at position 4th. Clear? So one pass is completed. I think no doubt should be there. Is there any doubt? No doubt. Clear. Or you can pause the video or uh, you can just repeat it and uh, watch it. How I am shifting, how I am finding the minimum element, how I, mean, how I am shifting this minimum element to the first position. Similarly, in second pass, I will find the minimum value. In second pass, but will, uh, the minimum value is 20, which is on, already at position 1. No need to do anything. Now, in third pass, 30 is already a minimum value, which is already at position 2. So, clear? Here, you can say, uh, now there are only two elements. In fourth pass, we have to find the minimum value. Minimum value is 40. And 40 is to be shifted at this fourth position or the third index. So, swapping is required. Now, the last, no need to do anything. The largest or element automatically shifted to the end. Here total number of passes are n minus 1. Here we can see it. If there is any doubt, you can write into the comment box. Then I will try to clear your doubts. Total elements were 5 and number of passes are n minus 1. Here you can see in selection short the whole, the number of uh, comparisons are uh, reducing in every pass by one here we can see suppose uh, this is the first pass output second pass when once the element is shifted to at uh, the right position then we require only the one less than the previous size of the array clear so in first pass number of comparisons are four because there are five elements we have to compare these two then these two then these two and these two so there are four comparisons Swapping only in first position, one swapping is required. In this position, swapping is not required. But if suppose it is uh, unsorted array or reverse sorted array, then only swapping is required. Or we can say in last, we have to write it at the same position again. Overwriting. We are doing the overwriting. So that is the part of swapping. We can just uh, skip that part or we can save one um, computation time for the swapping. So I will explain in when I will discuss the code of C and I will tell you how we can remove it. Here you can see 10, 20, 30, 4, 50 and 40 and in last you can say only you know, one comparison is required and finally total number of comparisons and total number of swaps that will be responsible for the computation time of the selection sort. Now this is the C programming code of selection sort. We just created a function in the selection sort. You are passing the base address of the list or the array, total number of elements into the list. We are taking these variables, integer type, temp, current, j, k, minimum, then some you got, line terminator. For loop starts from zero. We are taking the current position, okay? So current is representing the number of passes. So zero to less than n minus one, then current plus plus. Clear? So total number of elements are five. So five minus one that is four so less than four means up to three so zero one two three total number of passes are four clear so total elements were five and number of passes required 
and minus 1, so it is 4. Now, minimum, in starting minimum, we are taking current value. So, zeroth position, we are taking minimum. For j is equal to current plus 1, that is next element of the current value. Clear? It is less than n, that is the size of array, then j plus plus. If list j, when the condition is true, yes, j, suppose j is 1, n is 5, so n is j is 1, 1 is less than 5, yes, then execute this statement. If list j, j is 1, first element is less than list minimum. Minimum is what? Minimum we are taking the current position that is 0. So list 0 element is greater than this. It means aj is less than. Then we have to change the minimum. Otherwise, do nothing. Repeat the loop till end. After when we receive any the minimum value, whatever we are getting, then in temporary variable we have to we have to uh, assign the minimum value of the list which we have found into the first pass then uh, overwrite the current value at the minimum position and finally at the current position write the variable which we have saved into the temporary variable clear so this is the code of swapping no need to repeat again and again i think it's, it is very much clear to all of you clear so repeat now for second pass then third pass then fourth pass same very simple code execute uh, in uh, your turbo c or code blocks whatever you like there are some drawbacks of selection sort also what happened if the array is already sorted if array is already sorted then same process will be done because we have to assign the current position then j we will find Without comparison, we can't take decision because this is the minimum value. So we have to compare again. We are doing comparison and finally we are overwriting the same element at the same position. So we are doing the swapping also. What happened if some elements are sorted? Uh, elements are not in order, but after a couple of passes, the entire array becomes sorted. Then there is no check for that. So it will take, it will execute for whole uh, passes. We can't save it. So to save computation time, we need some other corrections or refinements to improve the existing selection sort. If you can do that, then try it. In first pass, suppose this is the case uh, where 20, 10, 30, 40, 50. Even first pass, we are getting the uh, array in this way. Then we can say after the second pass, the output is sorted. But selection sort will again execute for third pass and again execute for fourth pass. There is no check in selection sort. So this algorithm will work for n minus one number of passes, but we require some improvement in existing selection sort to stop when the array is or becomes sorted. If you can do, then try it. This is the time complexity of selection sort. In best case, it is O of n square. Worst case, O of n square. Average case, O of n square. Thank you, students. Try it at your own. If you have any doubt, then you can write into the comment box. Thank you.